Hi guys, it's Inspirational Nails, and I'm here to show you my new Manny, and it's inspired by Hawaii. So I have not been to Hawaii, um, but I'm hoping to go one day soon. And I was inspired by this magazine that I saw, and this was on the front cover. Uh, so I I was inspired to do this, and I love Hawaii, and I have a few plates that have kind of Hawaiian inspired images on it. So. I don't know I just wanted to do this look and I think it came out pretty cute so there is a lot going on here there's uh, different you know um, techniques so I am going to show you how I did this on my thumb so I've already <clears throat> as you see I've already started um, I did of course put a base coat and then uh, a base coat of white and all I used for my white was a coat of clean colors and this is white number four okay and it doesn't need to be a perfect coat of white because you're going to be doing um you know you're going to be putting so much on top of it that it really you just want to make sure that it's kind of a good enough coat that you'll be able to uh, cover it all up so for the first part of this i did a uh, ombre type of gradient and these are the colors that i used actually I think it was like this yep so the first was the pink which is from Sally Henson from the diamond strength collection and this is called Ru ruby sequin the second one is this one from wet and wild I love this one it's called there it is <laughs> uh, club Havana it's such a pretty orange it's hard to explain that orange and then this one's also by Sally Henson. And this is from the Luster Shine collection, which is absolutely gorgeous. And this one's called Moonstone. So I really wanted an effect where it would get, you know, kind of lighter on the tips, which you can't see it too well. Um, of course, you know, like this nail is too short to see it. But if you see here, it's kind of lighter there. Um, but, you know, it, it came out okay. This is how it looked when I did it on my nails, the gradient. So I'm just going to do the same gradient, but on this end. So I'm just going to shake these polishes a little bit, open them up. And I am going to start to put them on the sponge. So this is my thumb, so I want to make sure I get enough coverage on the sponge to make sure that it gets across my whole nail here. Okay, so now that I got all the colors on there, I'm just going to... <laughs> now I gotta figure out which side is the wet side. Okay, so we're going to do it again. Now, I probably um, will do this probably at least three times just so that I can get a good color. And I'm going to do it a couple more times because you see it's kind of light. So I'm going to keep doing that. And once I have a good um, opaque, I will come back. Okay, so here is the gradient, and it came out really nice. It's the pink, the orange, and more of like that lighter color. Okay, and now I'm going to go into with my stamping. Now, I did use a lot of different things for stamping. Um, the first is I did use my Messy Mansion stamper on my Fabio Nails holder. Okay, the two plates that I used, I used, um, oh great, look at that. Ah, but that's okay. We're going to cover it up anyways. <laughs> okay, so the first one I'm going to use is the Uber Chic 4-03. I actually used two images from here. I used kind of the um, lace, this one right here, and then I used these flowers right here. Okay, um, and then the other plate that I used is the tourist from Mo London 
Okay, and the images that I used from here was like the little lizard. I used the Hawaii. Um, I used the little turtles. They're so cute. I think those were the only designs I actually used from this plate. Okay, so we're going to first use the Uber Chic, and I'm sorry, it's kind of, um, you know, I didn't clean it with, I just cleaned it with acetone, so that's why it has that, um, it's all smeared out. Okay, and I used a lot of different stamping, stamping polishes. The first one is this one here. Um, this is from Born Pretty Store. It's a beautiful, bright gold, and that's what I kind of use for like this uh, lace pattern right here. And then I used, the rest are from Mundo de Uñas. And um, I used the pink, which is Barbie. Okay. I used this green, which is called High Green. I used um, one of my favorite greens from the collection, which is Avocado. And, of course, I used my black and white from Mundo de Uñas. So those are the ones um, that I use for stamping. Now the first one that I started with, which was the gold, because I wanted to kind of have that gold effect on top. So I'm going in and I'm going to be using my uh, Bundle Monster Scraper. Okay, and just want to scrape that. Okay, and there it is. So I'm just going to push down. Look how pretty that is. I love that. It has such a like a, a sunset type of look. That's what I was going for. Okay, and that's it. That's the only time I used the gold. That's what I used it for. Okay, and now I'm going to use the flowers. Um, I kept the flowers. Oh, I kept the flowers white because I put so many bright colors on top. I just wanted a, a white um, kind of palette for the flowers. Okay, so for this, I'm using Bono de Uñas white. Okay. And there's the flowers, how pretty that is. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Like dropping everything over here. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, and then that's pretty much it for the Uber Shake plates. Now I'm going to get um, the Moyu Taurus plates. And for this, I want to use the Hawaii. Oh, I also use the hibiscus flowers, the little ones. That's right. I use the pink. That's what I use the Barbie for. Barbie. Okay, so I'm going in. I'm going to do the Hawaii first. And I'm going to do the Hawaii in black. Because it really stands out. And that's what I wanted. Mm, got some white on there. Mm. Hopefully it doesn't get on the... No, it didn't. So there goes Hawaii. So I'm going to take my um, little roller right here. And I'm just going to take out everything I don't want. Okay, and once it's left with what I want, I'm going to go across here. And there it is. Okay, and now I want the little, the little lizard. I put him this way. I think I'm gonna put him the other way, going down. Okay, and with the lizard, I use the avocado. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to put some images on there, some of the polish. And there he is. Okay, again. Okay. 
Okay. He's cute when he's not real. <laughs> okay, I'll see. Okay, okay. So I'm going to go facing down. So I'm going to go this way. Okay. His face almost. Stay now. There he is. His little face got smushed, but that's okay. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. That's why I'm going to use a little hibiscus to cover any imperfections. So I'm just going to use this little one right here. Okay, I'll pick her. Look at that. Look at that pink. Isn't it gorgeous? Love that Barbie pink. It's all about Barbie. Okay. Okay, and I think I'm going to put him, put it right, right there. Like if he's hiding behind the flower. Okay, and then I'm just going to quickly clean up here okay I'm gonna continue to clean up and then top coat it and I'll be done so here's my final look and I hope you liked and enjoyed please comment and hit that subscribe button and if you like them give me a thumbs up and until next one bye guys